So you're looking to land that graduate position as a structural engineer. These are my top five tips to help you land that position. And if you stick around to the end, I'll have a bonus tip that will not only help you land that graduate position, but potentially any other job you may apply for in the future. So stick around to the end. My name is Brendan, a structural engineer based in Australia, and I produce videos that help grow your career both technically and professionally in the field of structural engineering. And also just do general interest topics in structural engineering as well. So if you like those topics, please don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get into it. Number five, and this is about getting your CV polished or things that you can do prior to graduating to help you land that first position. So how can you help polish your CV prior to graduating? Get involved with the engineering society at your university. And when I say get involved, is either trying to be the president or part of the committee. This will do two things for the prospective companies you're applying for. It will show them that you have the leadership skills they're looking for in their candidates. And number two, potentially gets you in contact with some of the people inside that organization that can help vouch for you and get that position. And also during university, you have to sit in internship. So during that internship, work as hard as you possibly can to show them that you have the skills that they're looking for in their graduates. Many of my friends have landed their first position through working hard in their internship. So don't take it lightly and you may get that first wrong very easily. Number four, and this is about applying for the top engineering firms in your local area. They generally have websites that tells you how you need to apply for those positions, but be warned, this is a highly competitive way to get that first position. Not only do you have to have first class honours, but you need to have additional curricular activities to show them that you stand out from the crowd. Even if you manage to get that first interview, you need to make sure that you still impress them through the tests that they give you and show them that you have the communications skills that they're looking for during those interviews. But don't be disheartened if you miss out at this stage. This is not how I got my first role. There is many other tips in the next series that will show you how to land that first position. Three, and this is going around to your family and friends to see if they have any contacts in those top firms, as it will be easier for those firms to take you on if they have someone that can vouch for you. So asking your family and friends if they have any contacts and seeing if you can land that position that way. Number two, this is about going to your university professors. Generally, they have contacts within the industry, whether it be ex-students or even just colleagues that they've worked with in the past. But make sure that it's someone that you've impressed, you've shown them through your project work that you have the skills to work inside the field as will make it easier for them to vouch for you and help you land that position. Number one, and this is about applying for the small firms within your local area. And this was something that I would urge you to really reconsider. This is how I got my first role. I know what you're thinking. You want to be in those big firms to work on those prestigious projects. But when you're starting out, you only get to really design a single column or a single slab in those firms. Where at the small firms, you get to design a whole structure from scratch. So you get to design the roof, the walls, the columns, the floors, the stability system, which is not what your mates get to do. Now, the small structures are very similar to big structures. They're scaled down a little bit. Also, while you're at those firms, as they are smaller, you'll get to involve with clients more often. You get to look at projects and their financials behind it. So you'll have a more holistic approach on engineering. And you have a more rounded skill set. So when you do apply for those bigger firms later, you'll be able to progress your career faster through the ranks than your mates that have been at those firms that have only been looking at one thing. Now, as promised, that bonus tip. And this tip will not only help you land that graduate position potentially, but also any other future jobs you may apply for. So what is it? It's something you do prior to going to that interview. So what do you need to do? You need to do research on the companies that you're applying for. You can either do this through the web or for LinkedIn. Even do some research on the people that are going to do that interview for you. As this will do two things. It will show them that you have interest in the company. You can even express interest and ask questions about those potential projects they're working on, as they may know something about it. They also may have special interests, such in FE analysis or some other tool as well. As this just shows your interest in structural engineering and what their company is doing and potentially courses that you can get into to help them achieve their goals. The, this interest will help you stand out a bit in the other candidates that are going for that same interview. So this is something you should do prior to going any job to show your expressed interest as they just don't want anyone. They want someone who's interested to work for them. I hope these tips help you get that first position. If you have any other additional tips for any other graduates, please comment below. And if you did like this video, don't forget to like and comment and subscribe on it and look forward to seeing you in the next episode.